place. We're in a hurry. <laughs> I have seen a lot of baptism okay. and I've been blessed by everyone but there's one in my memory that I'd love to have seen that's when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan by John Amen. just to see my blessed Jesus just go slowly waiting in glory and God. to see those Thank mighty you, wings yeah, of love you, you, from you. heaven rest on him yes, Lord. just to see him rise from the water raise his hands and praise his God yeah. I wasn't there that day but I but I see I seen John baptize the Lord now I've been down to the water and I have slowly waded in mm -hmm. but I'll never forget that warm feeling when the preacher raised his trembling hand and when he said we baptize our brother my mind wondered to way back then praise god yes i saw my blessed redeemer as he slowly waded in and i saw those mighty wings of love from heaven rest on him just to see him rise from the water raise his hands and praise his god i wasn't there that day but i believe i saw john baptized the lord oh i'd love to see my children go so slowly waiting here yeah. oh, and Lord. feel Glory the mighty God. love of God just pouring out Amen. of them just to see them rise <laughs> from the water raise their hands and praise their God I'd love to see our children just come and go, go along Yes, Lord. Amen. Great God. For anybody yeah. don't know, Brother Jimmy wrote that. Yeah. Amen. With the help of God, I'll add that. Yeah. yeah. Glory to God. <clears throat> Beautiful. That's it. Be the name of the brother. I want to go ahead and welcome everybody. Yeah. I don't think anybody can follow that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like to welcome all that's here. And God bless the ones that's not here. Yes. Yeah. They're just missing out. Yeah. And it's good to know that we've got a Savior that that come and died for us. Yeah. And that He's going to come back and get us one of these days. One of these days. Yeah, but uh, I'm more ready to read the prayer list. Lord, do bless him, dear God. Bless him, Lord. And I have to ask God to forgive me. I took his glasses off. Raise his own hand. I brought them back, and I'll, I'll lay them down. <laughs> uh, all of our brothers and sisters all over the world, all children everywhere, all addicted to drugs and alcohol, men and women in service, our veterans, the homeless and the hungry and I'd say that about covers them all Sister Ellen Roberts Brother Jimmy Hall and family and I appreciate that Brother John P Sister Patty Church she had um, gallbladder surgery Friday <coughs> <coughs> okay. how was she doing sister she's a doing pretty good just sore 
Okay. What about Brother John? Is he any better? She said he was done better. He's taking care of her. She oh, said okay. he's feeding her. Good. Good. Robin McCain. She Brother starts Rick her treatments West. tomorrow, Brother Jim. She what? Robin starts her treatments tomorrow. Okay. For we cancer. will bless her. Kendall oh, Bailey, Nathan Sloan, Abigail Looney, Brother Randy and Lucy Looney, Sandy and O'Quinn family, Jeff Fields, Keith Fields, Mike Dye, Sister Brittany Collins, Sister Judy Roberts, Sister Brenda Newsom and Brother Dave. The hell are they? Anybody know? They have the flu and RSV, both of them. Okay. I well, we need to keep them on the fringe. Yeah. Sister Brenda was Sister trying to talk like Bonnie that. Bailey. Amy Hamilton. Brother Hobart and Sister Nancy Hamilton. Brother John Paul and Sister Lois, Lois Hamilton. Chris Akers, Lacey, and Lacey Roy, Liz and Levi Howe, Kinger, Glenn and Fuller. Well, we got a lot that's not here. Ollie and Robert Mullins, Sam Case, Rebecca Bolin, Hannah Fugit, family of Nona Rock, Sister Ella Mae Fugit, Brandon Robinson, Sherry Fugit, Donnie Fugit, Brother Cecil Seltzer and family, Robin, Jennifer Potter, Sister Carol Hamilton, Eugene Quinn, Lynn Boyd, Irene Moore, Terry Ison, Kinsley Lester, Juanita Bailey, Joan Moore, Will McCauley, Warren Johnson, Lisa Music, Carol Stunt, Jackson Hall, Patsy Swigger, oh. Cindy Hackworth, Sandra Hall, and James Mullins. Well, Jimmy, still remember Brother Frank and Sister Geraldine? Uh, oh. Let's get those. Oh, yeah. She's still in the hospital. Yeah. yeah, they're on me too. Yeah. And this girl then can't get up. And, she can't get up and do nothing now. She just, I mean, she's just staring and girls. I reckon take care of her and everything. Yeah. Remember them I mean, all the time when you come to church. I mean, I might not be here, but still keep them on your mind and up uh, on your heart. We've been putting them on time. I just forgot. Yeah. And remember Buster Mullins and his wife. Okay. His wife is big face too. And okay. we don't know what's going to go on in this world, boys. But the main important thing, if we live right and live up for God, we know where we're going when we leave here. Right. Amen. Praise God. Okay, they found another page here. Scotty Isom, Neil and Jim Martin, Jennifer Isom, Mary Shepard, Betty and Nathan Jacobs, Bobby Wells, Jerry Manns, Eddie Mead, Lola Haddington, Anita Compton, we find Elizabeth Howe, Elwood and Carolyn Ravens, Sarah Jackson, Diane Case, Ray Riddle, Lisa Turner, Michelle Hamilton, Jody Wright, Clovis Manns, Tim Robinson, Marty Sloan, Cindy Hackworth, and that's my granddaughter, Sandra Hall, and that's my wife, James Mullins and Dalton. Yeah. <clears throat> These are the church's glasses. And, and, and I, if I don't put them down, I took them home the last time. Sure. So, yeah, you can have them if you want. <laughs> Make them if you want. Praise God. Anybody want to come and introduce? Who are you? If you feel like it, go right ahead, yeah, right. Go ahead. I, I don't feel like it, but I'll say a few words and then we'll have prayer. It just takes take a few words, brother Jimmy, you know yeah. that. Yeah, if you want to sing another song, that'd be fine too. Oh, yeah. God bless you, I've been fighting a battle. Lord bless you, dear God. A really tough battle. 
and I just at times would pray to Lord and and say, Lord, I'm just about ready to give up. And when you get to that point, you know. But I say, if, if it would please you, Lord, I'd love to stay here and sing and preach, testify of you some more. And so that's that's how it comes out. We don't know when we're going to go. No. But we do know that we could be here when the end of time comes. We don't know. But we don't know that. But here's the thing about it. The world is getting so bad and so corrupt. Yes, it is. I don't see how it's going to last much longer. But I do, I do know one thing. I can't preach without Jesus Christ. If he don't preach me, then I can't preach. And I, I, I believe with all of my heart, I'm not as strong as I used to be. And it, it kind of kind of works on you. Lord bless but you I God. do know one thing that no matter what it is, no matter what happens, no matter how bad it is, the best thing you can do is get down on your knees Amen. and call, God. Um, call on the Lord to help you. And if He'll come and help you, if He'll just come right now and bless me, it'd be, off, it'd be off, him, really Lord. good. But I tell you one thing, if I try to do it on my own, You'll mess up. it's just going to mess up. That's all I know, but I tell you one thing. I believe that he's sitting on the right hand of the Father, and maybe he's making intercession. He don't know when the time is going to come, but he's going to. The Father is going to say, "Son, it's time to get up Amen. and go down and Amen. Bring, bring our people home." <laughs> and I and I believe with all of my heart, when that trumpet sounds and the eastern sky rolls back, and you see Jesus coming. And all the graves are going to bust open. Amen. And they're going to come up. Bless him, Lord. The, the ones that have been saved and, and re- removed of sin. And you know what? I, well, I know one thing. We'll not be looking back. No, no. We'll be looking forward. Glory we'll be God. looking to see a Jesus on that cloud yeah. and want to be with him. And we'll be there forever and forever and forever. This this. This time is le- is going to go be gone. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't believe it's going to be gone uh, uh, in just a, a little while. Lord. I don't understand, but I do one, know the one thing. I don't care where what everybody else does. I'm going to serve God, Amen. and the last Bless thing I Lord. do when I go to bed is I pray and I pray for my brothers and sisters, yeah. and I pray for the church, and I pray for the whole world. And I want you to know that when when the trumpet sounds, there's going to be screaming and crying. Wait, give me a little more time. But there'll be no more time. It's too late. And I want you to understand. I've I want to get to feeling uh, like I should feel. Uh, it's not me doing it. It's my Lord and Amen. Savior, Jesus Amen. Christ. Him, and he'll let me know uh, what to say. And I guess he's saying, let your light shine. But oh, you need to... Thank the dark, you, the dark is the world. We need to let our light shine yeah. and go out and tell them uh, no, what we, we're going to happen if you don't done, repent Lord. and be born again and sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise and kept with the power of God. Uh, then you're going to uh, go down to a devil's hell and you're going to burn in a fire uh, why forever and forever and forever. But I want to spend my forever in heaven <laughs> on the throne and in a great new city. You know it's going to there's going to be a new earth there's going to be a new heaven for the first earth and the first heaven is going to pass away uh-huh. and then it's going to be formed and I know one thing I want to be there and I'd love to see but I don't believe we'll miss the ones uh, that we know and and have to suffer over that you'll just be wiped out of our minds but I tell you one thing I, I want to be there so brother get you a song <coughs> He's good, and I feel good, but I, can't, but I can't do much. I have seen my last tomorrow. Bless him, Lord. I'm holding my last breath. Goodbye, sweet world of sorrow. My new life begins that day.
laid on him. Brother Frank's putting hands laid on him. And if there's anybody else that wants to come up before we... You sit right there on the seat, brother. You sit right there without him. <laughs> we pull up chairs if we need to. Right, you are. Okay. Everybody, get around. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, look at them that come up. I can't, I can't do it, but you can. I don't know what their illnesses is, and I know what mine is, but you can heal all of us here, Lord. It, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful time in this little church today to feel your spirit. Now, I wish I could feel like this all the time. But we have pains after we leave here. Oh, Lord, I don't know all their illnesses, and I don't know all of mine. But I know one thing, that you've got the power and why to keep it out of our bodies. And you've got the power, Lord, and why to have us, give us strength. And that we might, that we might thank you, Lord, and tell you that, that we love you, God, and we love you. And, oh, Jesus, we know what you went through on the cross, and we know that it was done for us, and we know that you've got the power of oh, what would take away. Oh, 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 bless this church, Lord. Oh, bless the 
us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Glory to God. Everything that we do. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, sweet Jesus. You want some water, Brother Jim? Praise God. Come on, Brother Man. Bless him, Lord. Bless your spirit. Bless him, Lord. Yeah, well, thank you. I got it. Uh, Take your time, Brother Man. I tell you, Lord. I tell you, there's. He's so good. There's nothing no better than he is. Nobody. You just think about it. He gave us this day. He gave us another day to, to worship him. What does worship mean? Praise God. It means good news from on high. Amen. Oh, I wish that I could give him all the praise and honor that he deserves so richly. But we just have to do the very best we can, Sister Julie. <clears throat> but I know if you will just believe you can he'll do anything for you. Yeah. If it's his will. But you've got something to do. You've got to believe. In him. And you've got to pray fervently. Ask him for every blessing. Amen. You know, I'm I'm pretty bad to sometimes I start Take your time. Three or four in the morning before I come to church. And I just keep praying. Because there's somebody keeps coming to my name, Sister Anna Sue. Yeah. Uh -huh. To my mind. Her name comes to my mind. And I know what he can do. Yeah. yeah buddy. We're down in the eve of time. It's not going to be long. I, I know. You all know. You know when you was growing up you did, how good it was. People loved people. Uh -huh. People had respect for That's people. Right, but now they don't care. No. They won't go to church. They care less for the Lord. How long do you think the Lord will take that? Not long. Not too much longer, I'm afraid. Not too long. Not too long. We've seen the best days. We was probably the most fortunate people yeah. mm -hmm. in this world. Mm -hmm. We lived at the best time, brother. Yeah. Edward, we want everybody to go to heaven with us. Sure yes. is. Amen. And we know, Sister Bonnie, they're not all going to go. But we can't quit trying. No. We got to shine our light. Amen. You know the Lord. Just look how good he blessed Brother Jimmy. Yeah. When the spirits are, you see, it don't matter. That's right. It don't matter. Nothing don't matter. That's right. Praise God. I, I, I feel so good. I want to go. Lord, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your blessings. Yes, Lord. Lord. It's been so good already. Yeah. Look up. Thank you, Lord. I'm not going to stand a long time, but I, I want to thank for the. It just come to me. I want, I want to thank Him for everything, brother. Mm -hmm. For every precious gift that we Amen. have. For my brothers and my sisters that we can be together. And His Lord, thank God. If the world only knew what we knew, the house would be full. Yeah. It'd be running, they'd be, they'd be running over. Yeah. Sister Bonnie, I, I think about when we was younger and the church was full. And you know, when we was there, it didn't matter if we'd been saved, we still loved everybody. We did, Sister Anna Sue. <laughs> we had respect, we had love and joy for the world, <laughs> even if we didn't know. <sighs> no birthday. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> we'll worry ourselves. Calm down. Oh, Lord bless my brother Danny. I'm not saying that song now. Uh, sing it later. I just want you all to know that I love you. 
but there's one that loves you more than I do. And Jesus paid the price for all of us. Yeah. Bear your cross daily. Shine your light as much as you can. That's right, Brother Glenn. Because one day after a while, we're going home. Amen. We're going somewhere. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's forever and ever Amen. and ever. Amen. God bless you and all. I love you, but he loves you better than I do. Praise Amen. God. Love you, Brother Glenn. Well done. He come in just in time, didn't he? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Bless him, Lord. This year he's had me all over the place. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. 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 Bless him,
converted. And the yeah, very he thing that he, uh, uh, I believe he got it right, pretty right. much right, 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 right. I do too. Because when he, he said, Lord, what would you have me to do? <laughs> he and when he become willing to submit uh -huh. himself unto the Lord, I believe God saved that man. Yeah, yeah. I do too. And yeah. we read in the Bible how that Paul made this statement. He said, I know whom I have believed. Uh -huh. There's a whole lot in that. Yeah. That's hell for hell, really, what it yeah. is. I know whom I believe. And he said, and I am persuaded that God is able to keep that which I have committed unto him. Uh -huh. right. Now, you know, uh, there's not anything that we can give God no. to receive salvation. No. no. But God, what Paul done, he made up his mind that he would suffer the loss of all things. He said, and count them but dung that I might win Christ. Uh -huh. The Lord t turned him around. Yeah. And made, he's one of the best preachers other than Jesus Christ uh -huh. we read about mm -hmm. in the Bible. Uh, he was brave. He was bold. And, but if you know, if the law, if, good, if, if keeping the law it could have saved us, yeah. Paul wouldn't have had to go through yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. That's right. Paul had enough of the law in him. He knew about it. He understood it. And the Bible teaches us that According to those under the law, he he could he, that could have got him to heaven if that was a uh -huh. yeah. situation. Uh -huh. He yeah. was one of the best in his position. Yeah. But when Jesus converted him from the law to grace, you might say, yeah. uh, he was saved by grace. But he was by faith. He believed in the Lord. Uh -huh. He came to the point that he believed in God. And then we read in the Bible where that His eyes uh, whenever he and Silas was put in prison, if you remember, the jailer started to kill himself and the gates were opened up that night. Uh -huh. And the Bible says they sang and prayed and about 12 o'clock an earthquake came and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the cell doors were opened and, yeah. and uh, the, the old jailer started to kill himself. And we all know the story. And, yeah. Yeah. How that when he started to do that, Paul said, "Do thyself no, no harm. harm. We are all here. Don't Amen. hurt yourself." Yeah, right. So that man, I believe that uh, with a humble heart and and scared heart and mind, he saw what these uh, brothers had. He wanted yeah. that. He yeah, said, yeah. Sir, what yeah, must yeah. I do to be saved? I wish Amen. more of our people would be Glory more concerned God. about how Amen. to be Amen. A saved. We, are, like, we got so many lost people and more. It's, it don't seem like people are really uh, uh, too interested about their souls. No. But here, uh, what Amen. must I do uh, uh, to be saved? You yeah. know what uh, uh, Paul ever said? You've got to hear a voice uh, no. or you got to see a light. Uh, no. But this is what Paul said. Uh, he said, believe. Yeah, uh, uh, on the Lord Jesus yes, Christ uh, in thine house and thou shalt uh, uh, be saved. Uh, uh, that's exactly what Paul did. Uh, and this the Bible says uh, and he conveyed that over uh, uh, to the jailer. Uh, and the jailer he said uh, uh, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ uh, in thine house and thou shalt be saved. Uh, and that's exactly what that man done. Uh, uh, took them home, washed their stripes, uh, uh, fed them and they had a baptizing uh, right in the middle Bless of the Lord. night. Uh, so then, uh, Paul, I know whom I believed, uh, and I am persuaded. Uh, uh, we read back when, uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, Abraham, uh, uh, the Lord spoke unto Abraham, and he said, Abraham, uh, in blessings I will bless you, uh, in multiplying I will multiply you, uh, and your seeds, uh, uh, your uh, uh, seeds shall be uh, as a star in the sky in Multitude, uh, and as a sand upon uh, the seashore, uh, uh, innumerable, uh, uh, he said, In thy seed, uh, as in one, uh, uh, shall all nations uh, of the earth be blessed. Uh, yeah. And he said to Abraham, uh, uh, Abraham, uh, I want you to get up yes. uh, yeah. and go into a place uh, uh, that I will show you. Uh, uh -huh. And the Bible says that Abraham uh, uh, started not uh, at the promises of God. Uh, uh, through unbelief. 
Amen. <laughs> Amen. He never staggered. No, he, he never doubted. He, got up he never second guessed. No. He didn't fool around with it. You, you know why? The Bible says because of that he was fully uh, uh, persuaded hey, uh, that what God no, had promised no, no, uh, God no, no. was also uh, uh, able to go forward. Yes, yes. God. Aren't you glad we got a God that could do that? Amen. 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 Never even questioned God. That's right. But he got up and he went anyway. Uh-huh. Because uh, he was uh, uh, persuaded. Uh-huh. We read in the Bible how the Paul went to King Agrippi and stood before him and he preached Jesus. Yeah. And the Bible says that he turned to the uh, king, he said, King Agrippi, uh, uh, that this is after uh, uh, Jesus had been born, yeah. been crucified, uh-huh. been buried, uh-huh. and he had uh-huh. risen on the third day. Uh-huh. And here that was, a, uh, he was actually still pretty fresh on the people's mind. Yeah. Well, Glory. Yeah. No. Hadn't happened too long before no. that, had it? Paul said he was seen of above five hundred brethren after, and 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 at least the last of all he was seen of me. Uh-huh. Yeah. So and uh-huh. here he's talking to King Agrippi. So it could have happened a long, long time ago. No, no. he's and then he preached to King Agrippi. He said, King Agrippi, do you believe the prophets? Uh huh. Do you believe the prophets? Yeah. Yeah. He looked right at him. I believe he said, Brother Jimmy, I know you do. <laughs> he said this thing. It was not done in a corner. That's right. Oh. We have a whole lot more proof in history today than they did then, brother. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> because we have a whole full record. A lot of times they still didn't have the full record them, Lord. that we've got today. But they had seen it, they had heard it, and the news had spread all over the world uh-huh. about this risen Savior. Her time is set up on the the, 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 the death of Jesus Christ, uh-huh. the resurrection, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so here he said, King Agrippi, you believe the prophets? Uh-huh. He said, I know you do. <laughs> he said, I know you do. He said, this thing was not done in a corner. That's right. You see what he I'm saying? This thing was not done in a corner, you know. And King Agrippi said unto Paul, he said, Paul, you almost oh, persuade, persuade me. Yeah. 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 Almost. almost persuade me to be a Christian. To be a Christian. Yeah. And Paul said, I would not just all mold, but you would be all together, yeah, yeah. such as I have, he said, except for these bonds. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to be in these bonds. But Paul said, I'm not only, he said to the brothers one day, he said, I'm not only willing to be bound for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, but he said, I'm willing to die. Amen. Uh-huh. I'm willing to die. Yeah. Why? Because he was persuaded uh-huh. that what God had promised, Mama. that God was also able really? to perform, and he was persuaded that God was able to keep that Amen. which yes. Paul had committed unto him, Brother Jimmy. Yes. You read in the Bible how that I, I, I believe that little woman uh, uh, that had the issue of blood. Yeah. yeah, I believe before she went to Jesus uh, that she became persuaded uh, <laughs> if I could just touch uh, the uh, yeah. heel. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would be made whole, uh, and because she believed that, uh, and persuaded that, uh, uh, she went and touched the hem of his garment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Murdered, right? Yeah. Something yeah. happened, didn't it? Ah. She, she was gone. sick, yeah. but immediately yeah. she was made whole. Oh, yeah. Jesus said, "Who touched me? Who touched me?" Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what? I believe Jesus wanted a testimony. Uh-huh. I believe yeah. Jesus wanted a confession, uh-huh. a public confession. Don't you? Yes, sir. He knew who touched him. Wow. And the apostles, they said, "Well, Lord, we don't know. There's a great crowd of people all right. over the place. We, we, we don't right. know who we touched you." Right. He oh, said, no. "Somebody touched me." Yeah. And he said, "For I have felt virtue right. well, go out of me." And that little woman here, she come. Oh, that blood that just immediately dried up. Immediately she was made whole. Immediately she was made whole. And she come to the Lord. She said, Lord, Brother Jimmy, it was me. Lord, it was me, Lord. I made up my mind. If I could just touch your garden, I would be made whole. And Lord, I made whole. She was persuaded, wasn't she? I believe that when old Shadrach, Meshach, and Bebe go, when they went out next to him before that king, he said, I will give you all another. Chance. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to give you another chance if you'll just bow down. He didn't want to burn them. I don't believe he wanted to burn them. They were, they were high-class right. 
the people that he needed in his kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. And he brought them there and he fed them and he nursed them. He didn't want them to be killed. He said, I'm going to give you another chance. Uh -huh. yeah. They said, King, we ain't going to be careful about this. Yeah. Ain't going to beat around the bush. We don't need to be around, be beat around the bush. We need to speak plainly, don't we? That's right. That we're trusted in God. Right. They said, King, our God we serve, he's able to deliver yeah. us. Praise the Lord. But if he don't, we're still not going to bow down. No. And they were persuaded. Yeah. And the Bible says in here they were bound hand and foot and, and, the, and their hands were tied with their clothes on and they were cast into a fiery furnace that was so hot that the people that threw them in there so they all burned up. Uh -huh. yeah. It killed yeah. her. Yeah. And that king after a while he began to look around and over and look through the, 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 hole. the hole I guess a little flame there and the hole, little hole people and when he looked in there he said I see three. I see, no, I see four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he said, yeah, we put three in there. I see four. Right. And the other, and that one is all different. Glory to God. Yes. Yeah. Like it up in the southern yeah. man. Loose. Oh, <laughs> and they were loose and walking around. Yeah. The bonds had come off of them. I don't believe that one, 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 one a piece of that garment was burning or smoke, not a hair on their head, not a blister nowhere. And then, then the Bible says that he called them out. Uh -huh. He called them out. He saw something that changed him, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Why? How did these boys, uh -huh. how did they survive that? Yeah. Because they were persuaded uh -huh. they that what God, they they what God, wanted right. God was able to deliver them. Right. And you know what? All through the Bible, we read about the, even in the, in the days of Noah when God told Noah to go build that ark. Uh -huh. The Bible said he moved with fear. Yeah. I don't believe he even questioned God. No. But the Bible says he moved with fear and prepared an ark. Yeah. And it saved his old house. Why? Because he was persuaded uh -huh. that what God had promised, God was also able to perform. Whenever David went down to fight against Goliath, against Goliath Mm -hmm. And he went down there and this, here his dad sent him down there to check on the boys and see how the war was going, Brother Jimmy, uh, yeah. and told him to take him a little food, take him some food down there. When he got down there, Brother Danny, all of a sudden he looked over and there was a big commotion going on. A giant of a man was defying the army of Israel and David just a little lad. Yeah. He had a horn of oil poured upon his head. Yes. And the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, had already come up on that little boy. Yeah. He'd been anointed to be the king of Amen. Israel. And here he was out taking care of his father's flock. The sheep, and his daddy says, go down there and check on him. <laughs> and he gets down there and here's this big giant of a man. I mean, he was a giant. A giant of a man. Yeah. A professional warrior. He had on all the armor, everything that he needed yeah. of the world to win a battle. Of the world. Of the world. He had it. Here's just a little boy, a little shepherd uh -huh. boy. Just a little shepherd boy. Just a little bitty fella. <laughs> he goes down and he says, who is that uncircumcised Philistine? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who is that uncircumcised Philistine defying the army of God? They said, oh, you go back home. You can, you just come back here and see the battle. You, you, just, go, you just talk and you just go back to his brothers. He said, is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? There's a cause why we're here today. Amen. There's yes. a cause why David was there. And there was nobody go out and, and that job, he would say, you come and fight me. Yes, I want to all. You all will serve us and if you kill me, we'll serve you. Nobody would go down. But little David was persuaded. <laughs> <laughs> David was persuaded. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, I, he said, you don't know. He said, I'll go find him. Oh, you just a kid. You need to go back to the house. Yeah. He said, no. He said, you don't know it. But I was watching over my father's sheep one day. A bear come in, got a little lamb. I took it away from him. <laughs> a lion come in. I took it away from him. Yeah. Yeah. The same God that delivered me out of the, the power of the bear and the lion will uh, deliver me out of the hand of the Amen. He was Amen. persuaded with me. Yes, he was. They agreed to let him go. They said, come on, we'll put you on some armor. And yeah. He couldn't wear it. He wasn't that big. He said, no, I've not proved this. Uh, uh, but you know, David had just exactly 
For he, for he, he had the Lord. He, the Lord. he, the Lord. he was persuaded yeah. that he would kill that man. And they went out to fight. Here comes this, here come this big giant of a man. We all know this little <laughs> child. But it's good to remember to get that. Uh, just a child. Uh, went down to the brook and got him five stones. Uh, and just had a little slang. Yeah. Uh, and here comes a man with a big giant staff. Uh, uh, probably hiring this builder right there. Uh, the loft right here is. Uh, and a big sword. Lord, uh, and I had to burn somebody uh, uh, to pack his shield for him. Uh, and he yeah. said, Am I a dog uh, that you will come out after me? He said, I'll feed you to the fowl of the air. Yeah. David said, You come to me yeah. with a sword and with a spear. Yeah. But he said, I come I to you in it. the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless God. Amen. God. Amen. You, know, you know what got David to victory? He was persuaded. Amen. He was persuaded. And I'm persuaded. What David had, the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And little David, he had that, folks. It was just a little sling and one stone. He killed the giant. Yeah. Took his head, wouldn't it? Took his head yeah. off and killed him. Yeah. And eventually, he took his, the giant's own sword and cut his head off and brought it back to the and back to, to the children of Israel. And they had a big time. Didn't they? Uh -huh. yeah. they began to rejoice. David was persuaded uh -huh. that God was able to do that. Right. And I am persuaded. And you know, and we've all been Christians. Lord, I guess my half probably is a Christian. And some have been Christians a long time. I remember Brother Jimmy Howell when he was a whole lot younger. Yeah, he ran. What he is yeah. now. <laughs> I remember Brother Jimmy. Time is catching up with us. So, uh, but yeah. we're persuaded, aren't we? Uh, uh -huh. We're persuaded that some sweet day uh, uh, that the Lord is going to come back uh, uh -huh. uh, with a shout and with the voice of an archangel uh, and the truck of God. Uh, and we're persuaded persuaded uh, that the dead in Christ uh, are going to get up first. Amen. And we which are alive and remain are going to be uh -huh. caught up together with him in the air in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Amen. So, so ever, shall we ever, ever be, be with, with the Lord. Lord. I, that's my hope uh, this morning. You know, mm. that I told him one time a brother, he was a deacon as a matter of fact, and I said, you know, the Bible says we're saved by hope. He said, I don't believe that. I said, well, it's in the Bible. <laughs> we're saved by hope. Hope that is seen is not hope. But we hope for that which we see not. And then we with patience, uh, we wait for it. Why? Uh -huh. Because we're persuaded Amen. that what God has promised, yeah, but God is also able to perform. Yeah. That yeah. I believe Paul said, one of them wrote, he said, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? <laughs> who shall separate us from yeah. that? He said, I'm persuaded. He said, can death, life, power, death, principalities, powers, Famine, nakedness, Maybe. pearl, sword, storms, death, whatever you want to think of. Can that separate us yes. that have been born again from the love uh, no, of Christ? No, no. Paul said, I'm persuaded. Uh -huh. I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor power nor principality, things present, things to come, angel, or any other creature, is able to separate us from God from the love of God no through way. Christ Jesus the Lord. Glory to God. I'm persuaded when Jesus says, Come unto me all you that labor. And I'll give you and rest. Our heavy labor. And I'll give you I'll rest. give you rest. Amen. I'm persuaded he's able to do that. Amen. Because I believe he done that for me. I'm persuaded Amen. he done that for me. And I'm persuaded that he's done that for you. And I'm persuaded he'll do it for anybody else yes, he will. that will come to God with a broken heart. heart and a and a arm and and you'll know that too. I'm persuaded he's he is able the Lord. to you'll do it seemingly, abundantly, above. The Bible says, away. whatsoever that the we Bible. should even ask or think, yeah. God is able to do it seemingly yeah. above that. Sure he is. I'm persuaded that God can take nothing. And make Amen. something out. Amen. Amen. I'm persuaded that God said in the beginning when there was, the earth was that was that form and void and darkness up on the face of the deep. I'm persuaded that God said, Let there be light. Yeah. And there was light. Yeah. Amen. That's when the big bang happened, Brother Jimmy. Amen. And we'll talk about the big bang. Yeah, that, that was your big bang. That's right. When God and I'm persuaded God that yeah. He created all things uh -huh. and for His pleasure they were and they are created. Yeah. And I'm persuaded that God created you and I for His glory. glory and honor. Amen. Amen. And yeah. I'm just I'm just I'm the least among. Not even worthy 
to be alive, not even worthy of anything that God has for me. But I'm so glad that God created me, that He could get glory and honor out of me. And whatever I've got, I don't have nothing to give God. <laughs> You know why the Bible says our righteousness is ourself is a filthy right. Yeah. I didn't have no righteousness to give God. No. But I needed his righteousness. Amen. And you know what Abraham believed in God. Mind and, and because Abraham was persuaded, and because Abraham believed in God, it was imputed unto him uh -huh. for righteousness. Ain't that what it says? Right. And you know what? And he was called a friend of God. <laughs> Ain't that good? Yeah. And I believe that we are I'm looking at friends. Yeah. But I think I'm looking at the friends of God. Everyone? Praise God. We are friends of God. Amen. That means we better not offend each other for the Bible says our angel do always behold the, the face of our father which is in heaven uh -huh. it'd be better than a millstone was cut tied around the head and cast into the sea. sea yeah I fear God I love God I'm and persuaded I'm yeah. persuaded are you persuaded today I sure Praise the God. Bible says let the redeemed of the Lord say so I'm persuaded glory to God bless the Bible sit down Love you, good brothers and sisters. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Come on, brothers. Mom, get your tongues. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dan. Bless him, Lord. Lord, please bless him, Lord. Please. Thank you, Lord. Bless him. Oh, sure. King of Griffith, he was almost persuaded. Almost? That won't get you to heaven, will you? No. Well, man, we're sure glad you found this place. Praise God. It's good to be in a house. Amen. He's going to be in a house for a long time. Praise the Lord. Take your time, Brother Scott. God is so good. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoarse, I don't have much of it's voice. I ain't no excuse that I surely deserve. I'm persuaded, Brother Jimmy, we're going to get a new body. Absolutely. Lord, lift my brother out of your Let him, Lord. Let us continue to hear from him. I'm praising on to the mark of the high call. I'm pressing onward for no trouble Lord, ever comes. I'm pressing onward till I see my Savior. I'm pressing onward and my race is nearly run. Dark clouds, they've been He's always there beside me, bringing comfort through the dark and stormy nights. So no matter what befalls me upon his footstool, I'll ever keep my eye upon him. From all Everybody my pray. sorrow, and I'll just keep on pressing on till I see him. So don't you worry about this little pilgrim. God is calling, and I'll gladly go with him. I've got my Fastly upon heaven, or one day I am planning to enter in. I'm pressing onward to the mark of the I calling. I'm pressing onward where no trouble ever comes. I'm pressing onward till I see my Savior. I'm pressing onward 
and my race is nearly run. Bless him, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thought sure when I seen Brother Danny Dixon come in that I'd be able to keep my seat and praise the Lord and enjoy him and it's good to see you, brother, and God bless you. Oh, yes, but I oh, yes, I desire. Oh, yes, that same spirit. Oh, yes, it's been there. I'll teach we got here this morning, brother. Oh, yes, that spirit. Oh, yes, it'll make you glad that you was born to die. Oh, yes, I read. Oh, yes, were Jesus. Uh, uh, he was a traveler with his disciple brother uh, uh, well, I guess and he uh, uh, he sent them out uh, I believe to get a, a little meat there uh, uh, some stuff to sustain them uh, uh, well, I guess and Jesus uh, uh, why well, he stepped away from them there why well, well, I guess he took a little walk and uh, uh, well, I guess he come uh, to a well uh, well, I guess Jacob's well and uh, well, I guess he met a woman there uh, uh, well, I guess and uh, I no doubt she'd come to draw uh, uh, some water there uh, uh, why Jesus walked up uh, uh, why yes and he asked her uh, uh, why yes give me uh, what a drink uh, uh, why she said sir uh, uh, why yes uh, how can you offer uh, ask me to give you a drink uh, uh, seeing the well is deep uh, and I have nothing to draw with uh, uh, why yes and you're a Jew uh, and I'm Samaritan uh, there we have uh, uh, no dealings between us. Uh, I might told her, uh, oh, woman, if you'd ask uh, how to give you uh, a drink of living water, uh, uh, there could be a well in you, a uh, spring of the everlasting light. Uh, uh, what did she say? Uh, what she said, give me a drink. Oh, uh, uh, yes, and uh, uh, the woman, oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, uh, go, uh, uh, Get your husband, uh, why uh, come here? Uh, why she said, sir, uh, I have no husband. Uh, he said, you rightly said, uh, you've had uh, uh, three uh, or four, and evidently uh, uh, she was living with a man. Uh, I'm on his son. Uh, I'm on his son. I'm on his son. I'm on his son. I speak peace to your soul. Uh, you'll have uh, the same testimony uh, that that little sister had that day. Oh, uh, what did she say? Uh, come see a man uh, that told me all the way. Is it not the crime? Uh, the Bible says many uh, uh, believed uh, on the saying of the woman, uh, not because she said it, brother. Uh, they went to see uh, for themselves. Uh, and on the corner of you, Today, if you find Jesus, uh, you find salvation, uh, you find deliverance uh, uh, from your sin, you'll find it in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
There's nothing in this world, beneath the world, around the world, that can take that away from no, you no, no. Uh, what God does he does forever Amen. he's never made a mistake he's never had to do nothing twice yeah, you lie. when you God does the work it's a perfect yeah. work it's done yeah. when he does the work it's done it's sealed well it's being good <laughs> Somebody gonna have to bother me. Right here. Right here. <laughs> right here. Right here. Right here. We'll pray for you, brother. Yeah. Uh, it don't take all that. You don't want to preach the gospel. It takes the Spirit of God. Amen. Oh, I guess when He moves, I'll give it away. And I got enough sense, Mom. If the Spirit leaves, I'll get out of the way and let the brother yeah. come. Come on, brother. Danny. I, I, you you. Thank you, Lord. Lord. I God bless you. Come on, brother Danny. I love you. Let's get it going. Come on. Bless him, Lord. Everybody, please continue to pray. Bless him, Lord. Don't we? Praise God. Praise the Lord. You don't believe Jesus is here? Bless him, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God's been so good. He's praying for so He is my hope and He's my all and all. Every time I get in trouble on Him I call. He's my bread when I'm hungry. He's my shelter in the time of storm. My Savior takes me by the hand, leads me up on top of the mountain, lets me view the promised land. Some sweet day I'm going to travel to the so strong yes, man, brother. all day long I got here very early this morning had to leave sister Carol at home this morning she didn't feel well but I got here and tried to straighten up a little bit and pray and ask God to bless us today Boy, yeah. He hasn't been here all over the house. Praise He's God. answered my prayers. I've you know. been blessed to see each and every one of you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. My mother is blessed to be here today. Thank you, Lord. But most of all, as much as I love my mother, I love my Lord and Savior Jesus Amen. Christ, Amen. and He's been here and he's with us today. He's he shared His love. He's he poured it out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that bread the bread and the old town oh, refused to pay. If you've not oh, bought a drink of water today, if you've not bought a drink of water today, you did bring your basket to get it in. Uh, but my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He knows uh, what we need, and He knows what we need. And He said, I'll, I'll give it to you. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll go How to talk, how to pray. 
He give us a good mind. If you have good mind, O oh Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He said, and put it in their mind and their hearts, let them understand enough to repent of their sins. But they are by nature what they must be. You God. know, yeah. I was raised and I was taught about God from a small child. I understood and I heard elders sit and talk. And they discussed Christ. They discussed the scriptures. So I think I probably understood a little bit more than some that yeah. don't. There's some that's raised that's never heard yeah. about Christ. Yeah. They were never taught at home mm -hmm. about Christ. And anymore, they're not taught about it in church. No. About it. Some of them's places not. And they're not taught about it in school. No. They took it out. We need to be up and about our Father's business. Yes, we do. We need to tell our children. And we need to teach our children right in church. And I just, when I went to church when I was small, they didn't have Sunday school. But I sat and listened. I didn't understand a lot of it. I understood more when they were just sitting talking. When they were sitting talking and they would just explain to each other. Brother Jim Gray, there's a few here that knows him. I remember. Would sit and talk mm, real with my dad. <laughs> and he explained scriptures. I learned more when they were talking to each other and explaining things to each other. If that bit more to me, and I understood when they were talking. And I understood when they came to school, when I was in first grade, once a week. There was two older people came around. I can't remember their names, but I can sure Cullen. remember what they taught me. Candy Cullen. They came around once a week, uh -huh. and they had Sunday school. Right, God. That's what had you want to school. call it. But they taught us about Jesus in school. I remember you that. You never forget it. No. And I remember this. Yeah. I wanted to be like that couple. I wanted to be like them. They were kind. And they let the children know that they loved them. Yeah. Not just did they just teach that class, but they showed love and kindness to every child that was there. They didn't pick and choose. No. They didn't have a favorite. A lot of teachers, just in school, and even people in church, they seem to have faith. <clears throat> but if you truly are serving my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it won't be about favors. It'll be about you Amen. showing the love of Christ to everybody you come across. Amen. You'll be showing the love of Christ to every brother and sister. And I'm saying every brother and sister. That's what it's I'm not what saying it. every member of your church. No. Uh, if the only one that you can show love to is to a member of your church, and uh, even in uh, the clubs, uh, the motorcycle clubs, or just any club out there, uh, even they love each other. Even the Bible talks about uh, the world loves each other. Uh, but you see, uh, we're not supposed to just love each other. Uh, but the Lord Lord said, I love one another as I have loved you. Love you. Yes. He loved us to die for us. He loved us enough to hang up on a cross and be crucified. He loved us enough to be able uh, uh, to go on that crawl in uh, front of me and, and be kicked, pluck the beard out to do everything that just seems so awful that they don't think you have spit upon him. Uh, can you just imagine they took a hit and they beat him across yes, the back while he was yes, down there and they done every awful thing to you. But he still loved us enough to endure it. Yeah. Do you realize 
If you wanted to, he could have called a legion's angel. Uh -huh. He could have uh, spoken, told every one of them, and as they had to kneel down right there, he could have forced them to kneel down. He could have forced uh, us to kneel down to him every day. He could have forced uh, the first man and woman to kneel down and to worship him all the days of their life. And then he gave you a free right to choose, and he had a free right to choose. And I believe he told his father, I'll go down there and the room instead. I believe he told them, I'll be willing to go down there. I'll be willing to go down there and be the perfect sacrifice because they looked under the world. And they looked over the world. They looked everywhere and there was none of them worthy. Uh, but there was one that was worthy and that was yes. Jesus Christ our Savior. The they lamb, the lamb, the lamb, the perfect one with no blemish about it. God gave his best to us, Jesus, Jesus Christ, yeah. that we could go back to heaven. Yeah. And what is required of man, even back under the law, what was required of man? Dear God, to give his best. Best. If he wanted to have his sin stayed for one uh -huh. year, he was supposed to offer his best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Offer his best. If he raised ox, mm -hmm. he had to offer his best. Yeah. If he raised sheep, he had to offer his best. It's not changed today. God gave his best, and if you want to go to heaven, you have to be willing to give him your best. And what is your best? Give him all. Your soul. Love him with your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, and be willing to serve him and give him your best. And whenever you're willing to do that, he will live with you, and his brother Scotty already told you. At that very moment he comes in, he gives you eternal life. Mm -hmm. Eternal life. You know, I once read, and I'll get out of your way. Hey, I once read and was taught in the history books, and I loved history. Ponce de Leon, when he came over here searching for riches and gold, there was another thing they heard him talking about. He called it the Fountain Youth. And he looked and searched. You know, I've thought about that, <coughs> and I've wondered. Now, this is not in the history book that I've ever found, or not in the Bible. But I've thought that that man, he might have heard two old Christians talking about receiving eternal life. But he took his, well, eternal life could be the fountain of youth. If I could find that, I'd be rich. Well, I'm going to tell you. When you find it, you will be rich. Amen, brother. If you have found eternal life, and that's only through and by Jesus Christ, you are rich. You found the riches that every man and every woman should be looking for. Mm -hmm. Not the riches of this world like Ponce de Leon was looking for, but for the riches of heaven. Yep. God is the treasure, just like Brother Jimmy summed it up, <coughs> treasures that money can't buy. If you want to truly be rich, that is what you need today. We all need God, and whether you be sinner or saint, you need God more than you need your next breath. Amen, yeah. Amen brother. And I love you. <laughs> Now, we always announce the church door open yeah. for receiving uh -huh. members by experience of baptism. I think everybody here has already given their hand to God. But you know, we only announce that. God opened that door 2,000 years ago. Uh, sure. And right if here. men and women yeah. want to go to heaven, they better move out now before he calls into it because you see the door of mercy was closed once on that ark yeah. and there was only a few saved mm -hmm. and the ones that were saved the ones that brother Danny talked about the ones that were truly persuaded that's the only ones that were saved and the only ones that will be saved when God closes the door of mercy is the ones that was truly persuaded 
to give their life to the Lord and Amen. Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I have to say that we've been blessed abundantly today. Yes, we have. We have. And everything that you've heard from these brothers, from the best of my understanding, if you want to understand more about it, read about you can read about it. And I'll go further than that. If you want to understand more about it, talk to God. Even Lord. if you can't read, you ask God. You ask God, yeah. and He'll expand upon what you've heard today. You see, God has all power in the heavens and the earth. Amen. And whether you can read a word or not of this Bible, God will give you. Amen. He said you're responsible for what you understand, and He will give you enough to repent. And he'll continue to build on it if you're willing to go to him and beg and ask. I promise you that he will expand on it and he'll let you feel more and more of that love. Draw nigh unto my Lord and he will draw nigh unto you. It's true. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Go ahead and sing. When I see the sunrise in the morning, when I feel the wind blow across my face. When I hear the sound of children playing, I know that it's all a part of God's amazing grace. And I believe in a place in all heaven. And I believe in a place called Calvary. I believe in a man, his name is Jesus, and I believe that he gave his life for you. I was there the day my mother went to heaven. I held her hand as she closed her eyes. I felt the power of 10,000 angels take her soul away to be crowned at Jesus' feet. And I believe in a place called Calvary. And I believe in a place called Calvary. Thank you, Lord. And I believe yeah. in a man. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Jesus. And I believe that he came here and he died for me. Yes, I believe that he came here and he died for you all and me. Amen. Well done, God. Well done. I was persuaded. <laughs> I was persuaded on May the 22nd at 3.30 in the morning at 2010. And I have never wanted to look back. No, no. I don't want to go back forward. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Ain't nothing back there. Pain, Praise pain, God. Pain and misery. If you had any doubt of God and Jesus Christ, <laughs> You shouldn't have it now. No, <laughs> no. It's strong. God in His Son Jesus. Forty-five. And we realize Jesus don't know when, but God's going to tell him. Get up off the seat. Go down and get our children. It's closer than it has. And it's closer than it's ever been. And getting closer. So we, you need to give out, everybody need to give out the church. Run down your church out. Yeah. Please come over and see us at Big Hedwood on the 3rd. 
in Cedar Grove on the fourth. We really do need you. And uh, I saw this sister here and shook hands with her. I was at church the day she joined. I remember yeah. that. What about that? You don't, you don't ever forget those no. people, no, do you? No, you don't. And uh, thank God, thank God for his mercy, his grace, his truth. Amen, brother. And the love, the fellowship that you would feel one with another. Yeah. I wouldn't trade that for nothing in this world. No, no. We need each other. We need God, but we, we need, need each other to lean on us. Amen. You don't need me, Brother Jimmy, but I sure need you all. Yeah, yeah. we need you. Yeah. We need you. Remember us up at Sweet Home on the third Saturday and Sunday of each month. Come be with us. We'll show you love. Yeah. As much as you put that show done here. Okay. Remember us at Left Beaver on the fourth Saturday and Sunday at 10 o'clock. And remember us over at Little Martha. I'm trying to help them on the first Sunday and the third Sunday of the month. And they will feed you every time you come. And they'll feed you good, too. Come see us at Little Rosa on the first Saturday and Sunday, third Sunday, on Sunday, Christmas Day at 3 o'clock. And we'd like to invite you back here. Yeah. Yeah. For the visitors that's not been here with us before, I want you to understand we are getting out and traveling and taking turns and going visiting other churches. But for this community, we are trying to have church every Sunday to hopefully that they all understand and want to start coming out and being with us. We've had a few come and visit, and I believe that there'll be some more and they'll come. But they got to understand that we're here. So we want you to come back every Sunday, every time that you can. You might not see every one of us every time. There'll be different ones here, and there's a bunch sick today that's not able to be here. And on Christmas Day, if you can come be with us, come. I, I don't know, we might have two or three here, but whatever's here, I got a little something special planned, I believe God put on my heart, that I'm going to try to share with everybody that day, a little something that Jesus received. I want everybody to have the opportunity to understand what it was. I love you. God bless you. So we've done as we've done. Let me ask one more thing, okay. Jim. I don't know whether you're ever going to do it this year or not. Are you ever going to have thing, uh, pre oh, year out, new year in this year or what? We've not made it that far, brother. I can't answer that with you. Yeah. And we're getting close. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting close. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, we, you've heard had it when you did pipe. Well, yeah, we used and, to have it. It done, it done real good, yeah. big crowd come and everything. Yeah. And I didn't know where you was going to have it or not, but... To be honest with you, hadn't thought about it. We but did. that's something to think <laughs> you, about. You I mean, some, you know, a lot of people like to go out and and sing the old year, preach and sing the old year out, the new year in. Good. And that'd be a real good thing because you could draw a whole lot of people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Has anybody got anything they'd like to say? I mean, uh, where you you always said where your church is. Yeah. So I think about it. Put it on about everybody put else on, is a member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's what they decide they want to do. I know we got something. We thank you and we want to thank God and His Son Jesus Christ. Yeah. Without His Spirit, you wouldn't have had. No. We wouldn't no. have had it. No. But uh, when He talks through you. And I didn't know what I was doing, but he was talking through me. And I I just, uh, no. <laughs> it's just wonderful. And it'll be better than that in heaven. Yeah, amen. That's oh, the main oh, thing. Yeah. It'll be a lot yeah. better. So, did we got all now, no more churches to give out or anything? Go ahead. Tell me to call this mm -hmm. Yeah. Our most great and heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of your son Jesus Christ Lord, thank you. We bl you blessed them to get here today Lord all that year bless them to get home safely and Lord bless us to keep you all the time yeah. on our heart yeah. Yeah. and in our minds and try to get everybody that we can to come to church to repent be born again and have a home in heaven and when that trumpet sounds and we all get up there together, I don't think we'll remember the ones that we that don't make it no. because it wouldn't be heaven if it was. But Lord, I thank you so much for all the times that you've helped us and we've struggled through 
losing her church and just having a hard time with it. But we 